what is up people and today I'm going to show you how to monitor your Python application using Prometheus monitoring so without further ado let's go So this video is part of my Prometheus monitoring series which is under my docker development guide. So check the link down in the description, um, you'll find access to the free open source github repo where I've published all the source code you're about to see in this video so you can use this video as a reference guide and follow along and also learn something new. So just before we begin, in order uh, for Prometheus to monitor your application, you're going to need a metrics endpoint. So on the left hand side over here, we have our application and I'm going to be showing you how to integrate a client library into your app so that you can create a metrics endpoint. And then on the right hand side, we're going to get, create a Prometheus container that's going to come and scrape our endpoint and monitor our application. So it's Python time. So what we're going to want to do is go to the root of this repository. You'll see there's a readme for the Docker development guide. And here's all the YouTube videos I've made so far on Docker development basics. And what you're going to want to do is go to the Prometheus monitoring section. Um, and this is where I describe everything I do in this video series around Prometheus. Um, it's all about starting Prometheus Grafana dashboards. And what we're going to want to do is take the Docker Compose for our Python application. So we're going to go ahead and paste this into the terminal. This is going to start up and build a Docker container with our Python code in it running Flask. I'm going to go ahead and start that application up and that'll run on my machine on port 81 and inside the container on port 5000. And what we're going to want to do now is take a look at the Prometheus monitoring folder. All the source code in here is re re um, related to Prometheus. So I want to go ahead and show you the Python application. And let's take a look at the Docker file first. So what I do is I just use a basic Python, um, copy in our um, requirements TXT. I do pip install on that, then I copy in my source code and then I start up Flask. Very, very basic um, Flask implementation. And then what we're going to want to do is go into source and you'll see our requirements um, TXT has two things. It has our Flask web server. Um, I'm just using Flask as an example here. You can use any other Python um, web server. And what you're going to want to do is use the Prometheus client. So just to give you guys an overview, this is the library that we'll be using um, for Python, the Prometheus client. And they also have a GitHub repo. So go ahead and check that out. Um, there's a couple of demos here as well. Um, they show you how to install it an instrument. Here's the counter. The counter is something we'll take a look at in this demo. Um, there are gauge metrics, summary metrics, and also histogram is the other thing that we'll take a look in this demo as well. But there's all sorts of metrics with samples um, and also different types, so different types of web servers. So we'll be taking a look at Flask, but there's also WSGI, um, Twisted, and a bunch of other HTTP exported. <laughs> So let's take a look at my server implementation. This is very basic. We'll start at the top. Um, we are importing the Prometheus client and then we also import the Prometheus client core, which has a collector registry, allows us to collect metrics. And we're going to install the, um, extract some things out of the Prometheus client, like summary, counter, histogram, and gauge. These are the types of metrics that Prometheus provides. Now, two very important metric types that you're going to be interested in is counter. Counter is really good for determining how many times something happens in your code, how many times a function is being called, how many times one of your application routes are being called. If it's a job, you can count how many times the job executes, all these kind of things. And what um, Prometheus allows you to do is calculate per second rates of that counter. So it, it could be like errors per second, it could be requests per second, it could be bookings, um, not booking numbers for your website, whatever it is. So let's take a look at um, the code here. 
So we go ahead and we define a graph object and we define two portions what we want to track. So in my case, I'm um, declaring a counter. So a counter basically has two things. It has a Prometheus metric. So this is the name of the metric operations total. And this is just the counter of saying how many times is my application being accessed. Um, the total number of processed requests basically and then I define a histogram now histogram is more complicated it's basically a way to observe um, stuff in your code observe value so in our case we're gonna be observing time so we use histogram to determine the um, to determine the duration or observe the duration of how long this hello function is gonna take so how Prometheus does that is it has buckets and a bucket has a lower value and an upper higher value um, and usually that is like your lower and, and upper maximum for like how, how long you think this will take in seconds so I just say one and between one and ten and what we're gonna want to go ahead and do now is use these um, these metrics that we've defined so I have this function called hello and this, every time my application gets accessed, this gets called. And what I do is I start a basic Python timer and then I sleep here. This is just simulating some work to keep this function busy. Sleep, sleep for 600 milliseconds. And then I stop the timer and I observe basically the duration of how long it, that took. And I pass, so the, um, the histogram has an observe function where you can pass time into it or any kind of value that you want to observe and what prometheus will do is it will put um, this duration in one of these buckets and that's how it determines like quantiles like 95 98 99 uh, percentiles and also we use it to calculate the duration and i'll show you how we do that inside prometheus Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing inside this function is increment our counter. Counters are very simple. You literally just call the this increment function and that'll just increment the number. And what we're going to want to do next is open up a metrics endpoint. Now, this is the same endpoint I was talking about um, in the previous slide that Prometheus will come over to our application and find this endpoint and scrape it. And what we're going to go ahead and do here is we, we basically just for loop through these um, items and we generate our Prometheus metrics and provide it as a response, as a text response. So let's go ahead and look and see what this metrics endpoint looks like. So if I open up the application here, you can see it prints out hello world and it takes a little bit of time to respond because I have a 600 millisecond sleep delay in here. But let's like, take a look at the metrics endpoint. And there's our metrics. We can see here's our um, bucket that we've defined, the Python request durations bucket. Um, all the buckets are here, as well as the count of observations and the sum of observations. And then also we have our, somewhere in here, here we have our Python requests operation total. This is the number of requests. This is the counter basically. <laughs> So now that we have our application running, um, we're going to want to go ahead and start up Prometheus, Grafana and our dashboard. So this is where the magic happens. So in the readme file, I have the commands you're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it down here in the terminal. And that will go ahead and spin up Prometheus. It'll create Grafana for our plotting of the uh, metrics. And it'll also create a dashboard container, which is importing pre-built dashboards that I've already made. The next bit that you're going to want to go and do is go over to localhost port 3000. And this will um, basically direct you to Grafana. And I've created an application telemetry dashboard as part of this demo and all the source code is in git for this one this one will automatically import into grafana when you run those docker compose statements and let's go ahead and look at it when we open it up we can expand the python panel and we see request duration and request per second so if we go back to our application and let's run this a few times just to generate some metrics and we can refresh here we can see the duration is um, the request per second is coming in 
and we have the duration on the left so let's take a look at request per second how do we calculate that so if I go and edit this um, we can see I have my my Prometheus metric here Python request operations total and Prometheus has a rate function called irate so we pass in this into irate and we calculate the per second rate over a two minute period of time so Prometheus will basically give us now the per second rate here so we can see how many calls we are making per second and if we go back and we look at duration this is the histogram so if we go and edit this one we can see this is how you calculate duration so we take the python request duration second sum this is the sum bucket of the histogram we calculate the rate of the sum over two minutes and we divide it by the rate of the count over two minutes and this is a standard prometheus um, calculation of basically calculating durations there's also um, functions documented on prometheus web, uh, website about how to calculate quantiles like 95 and 99 percentiles if you're interested in looking at like different latency components of your application right so there you have it very simple way to integrate counters and duration um, instrumentation into your python code so anyway guys that's it for this video like and subscribe let me know down in the comments um, what you'd like to see in the future videos and until next time peace Oh, I'm not